guys, my name is Khadija Fatima and I am going to read to you Jeremy Sultan, Secret Agent by The Bookworm. So, this the, this book is one of my favorite Jeremy Sultan books. I hope it is yours too. Okay, so let's go. So, shall we start? Okay. A suspicious-looking rodent. That morning was just like any other morning. I woke up and smelled the cheese. Hot cheddar, that is. I like to make a whole pot every day. Then I stuffed my paws into my comfy cat fur slippers, and I shuffled to the window to check the weather. The forecast... The forecast was for rain, but when I looked outside, I just saw lots of clouds. Clouds and a very suspicious looking rodent with dark sunglasses across the street. How odd. I took a shower and gobbled down my breakfast. Melted cheddar toast. Yum! Then I headed for the subway. I was humming one of my favorite love songs, Beady Eye Beauty, when I saw him again. That same suspicious looking rodent with the, with the sunglasses was walking right behind me. How strange! A few minutes later, I arrived at my stop. I scampered out the door. Guess who was right on my tail? You got it, Mr. Dark Sunglasses. How very odd. At last, I reached my office at 17 Swiss Cheese Place. I couldn't believe it. Mr. Sunglasses had beaten me there. I was starting to get a little creeped out. A chill ran down my fur. What did he want from me? Why was he following me? Part of me was afraid to find out. What if he mistook me for an escaping, escaped con rat? What if I reminded him of someone he didn't like? What if he hated my tie? I decided there was only one thing left to do. I raced up the stairs to my office and slammed the door. Then I buried my snout in work. But when I looked out the window at lunchtime, guess who I saw? Yep, it was that mouse again. He was there when I left the office. He was there when I reached my house. He was there when I... He was there after I scarfed down a supper of three, a supper size, a super size three cheese pizza for dinner. Finally, I could take it no more. I just had to find out who that mouse was. With a squeak, I yanked open the door of my house. Then I stuck out my snout and yelled, Who are you and what do you want from me? Don't you recognize me? Even though I was screaming at the top of my lungs, the rodent barely flinched. Instead, he calmly took off his sunglasses and smiled. Or was it a smirk? How strange! The rodent looked so familiar. Was it the trench coat? Was it the paws in the pocket? Was it was it the perfectly groomed fur? I touched a paw on to my own head. Hmm, my fur was getting a little long. I made a mental note to make an appointment at Clip Rat Salon and day spa. I was still thinking about fur cuts when the rodent suddenly tapped me on the forehead. He he stared into my eyes. Jeez, Nibblet, was he trying to hypnotize me? I gulped. I read about bad mice like this. They first put you under a spell. 
then they break into your muscle and steal all of your money. The rodent's beady eyes seemed to drill right into me. I was so nervous I could barely see straight. I tried practicing the deep breathing techniques I had learned in Penny Pretzel's pa- Penny Penny Pretzel Paws Yoga class. They didn't work. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention in class. Just then, the rodent leaned in closer. I broke out in a cold sweat. This is it, I mumbled to myself. Goodbye, Moss World. But instead of hypnotizing me, the rodent snickered. Don't you recognize me, Geronimo? Geronimo? My name is... It's Cornelius Von Kickpaw. I could hardly believe my eyes. The last time I'd seen Cornelius, I was still learning how to do math and tie my shoes. We were friends in elementary school. My A mouse wearing a trench coat. In school, Cornelius sat in the desk behind me. He always wore a trench coat, no matter what the weather was, what the weather was like, and he always wore dark sunglasses, even when it wasn't sunny. Yes, he was a very, he was an odd sort of mouse, but we were good friends. Anyway, anyway. One time, Wendell Wild Whiskers and his gang stuffed me into, into a gym locker. Cornelius came to my rescue. He ripped open the lo- locker and made Wendell apologize. After that, the bullies never picked on me again. I always felt safe when I was around Cornelius. I smiled, thinking about those days. Even though we hadn't squeaked in years, Cornelius will always be a great friend. Do you have any friends like Cornelius? If you do, you are very, very lucky. As my dear Aunt Sweet Fur likes to say, whoever finds a friend, finds a treasure. I invited Cornelius into my house, then I showed him around. It didn't take very long. My mouse hole isn't very big. Still, I'm super proud of it. I especially love my kitchen with with my mega huge fridge. Sorry about that. So, where was I? Ah, yes. I especially love my kitchen with my mega huge fridge. While we were in the kitchen, I whipped up some tasty grilled cheese sandwiches. Cornelius munched them down in two seconds flat. Did I mention he's a big mouse? Finally, we sat down in my living room to chat. We had so much catching up to do. We squeaked about old times, old friends, and my job at the Rosent Gazette. So what kind of work do you do, Cornelius? I asked. My friend held up his paw. It's top secret, he whispered. You have to promise you won't tell anyone. I gasped. Why was my friend being so mysterious? Was he a professional burglar? Was he in the woods? Wood mouse for protection program? I promised I agreed. I promise I agreed. Eyes wide open. Cornelius put his paw around my shoulder, then he leaned in closer and whispered, My code name is Double O K. I am a secret agent. So that is it for the day. Thank you very much. 
um see you tomorrow